we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions. Step one to adding and subtracting fractions is to find a common denominator. That's called the LCM. Looking for the least common multiples of both of those denominators. Step two is use your integer rules because you will have some um, negative, negative fractions here. You will get some negative answers. And step three is simplify. your answer. It's the LCM that kind of looked like a two. Okay, let's do some examples. Example one. We'll start with an easy one. Three fourths plus five eighths. So step one is find a common denominator um, and preferably the LCM of the denominators. So again, you can list out the multiples of both of these and that'll help you find the least common multiple. So the multiples of four, four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, then 16, 20, and so on. Those are the multiples of four. The multiples of eight are eight, 16, 24, and so on. And we really don't have to go any further than eight here. Eight is the least common multiple. So this one, we won't have to um, change at all, but this one we do need to turn into an eight. So we're gonna do that by multiplying four by two. And what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. This part of adding and subtracting fractions is really, it's unsimplifying. It's the opposite of simplifying. So that's gonna make that six eighths plus five eighths. Now we're gonna use our integer rules. They're both positive, so we're just gonna add. Six plus five gives us 11 eighths. And the last step is to simplify our answer. So this is um, an improper fraction. We can turn it into a mixed number. Eight goes into 11 one whole time with three left over. So our final answer would be one and three eighths. I should have worked down the page, but that's okay. Okay, example two. Eight ninths. Take away three fifths. So again, we're gonna start by uh, finding a common denominator. The least common multiple of nine and five is 45. So we're going to have to multiply by 9 here to make this 45 and by 5 here to make this 45. That's going to give us 40 over 45 take away 27 over 45. Now that we have the same denominator, we're going to use our integer rules and we're going to subtract. 40 take away 27 is 13 over 45, and that cannot be simplified. Okay, let's do another one. And here we're going to bring our integer rules into play. Negative two fifths, take away one third. The least common multiple of five and three is 15.
now that we have a common denominator, we're going to use our integer rules. They have the same sign. They're both negative. So we are going to add and keep the sign. 6 and 5 gives us 11 over 15 and keep the negative sign. Let's look at an example where we are borrowing. This will be example four. And I'm going to highlight these. OK, so an example where we have to borrow two and three fifths, take away seven eighths. That's two and three fifths, take away seven eighths. So again, our first step is to get a common denominator. The least common multiple of eight and five is 40. So we're going to have to multiply this one by five and this one by eight. We're going to leave this a mixed number, okay? I promise it's easier. So that's going to give us 2 and 24 fortieths. Take away 35 fortieths. Now, if this two wasn't there and that's all we had, then yes, we would subtract and you would just get a negative, okay? But this whole number is here, so we shouldn't end up with a negative. So we're gonna borrow a whole, and a whole in this problem is 40 over 40, okay? So whatever the denominator is, is what you're gonna add into the numerator to add in a whole. That's going to leave us with 1 and 64 fortieths. Take away 35 fortieths. And now we're going to subtract. 64 take away 35 gives us 29 over 40. And one take away, there is no whole number here. So it's like one take away zero is one. This can't simplify. So that is your final answer.